Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. This video I'm going to try to answer a couple of questions and um, some of you guys had some discussion about my 200 ES. This is the one that came from the car show up in Rhinebeck. And I've been thinking about it quite a bit for a couple of reasons. I said what was wrong with it was that it jumped time and it probably whacked the intake valve a little bit. I lost the compression and that's why it won't run. And most of that's true, but unfortunately not all of it. I spent a few minutes um, and one of the, I couldn't check the timing because I couldn't get this bolt out, right? So what I did is I ended up taking a Dremel and putting a slice in the bolt. And then I tried to hammer it out. Um, and I still couldn't get the bolt out. So e eventually I managed to kind of see it's broken off right there. That bolt wasn't coming out. Um, so it snapped off. But now that the bolt's out, I can check the timing. And if you look at this mark right here, right, and you kind of, what I did is put this wire in here so I could see when I'm exactly at top dead center. See, it goes down a little bit, it goes down again. So right there is top dead center, right? And it looks like my timing is pretty good um, so I'm not I'm not thinking this thing jumped time and the reason why I started to question my conclusion that it had jumped time is I have not had one of these motors that have jumped time yet I've had 200 X motors quite a few of them that have jumped time but never one of these I did do the leak back testing with it. You guys remember I pressurized the cylinder on top dead center. And I had air coming out the, um, the carburetor. And I think the reason why it did that is if you look in here, um, I think they ran it for a while without an air cleaner. My next move on this bike is I'm going to take, if I have enough space, I'm going to try to get that valve adjustment cap off and loosen the valve way up and see if that does something for me. Because it'll, it'll allow the valve to settle in a little deeper, like if the seat's all eroded from, um, from running without um, an air cleaner, maybe that'll allow the valve to sit down lower and um, at least allow me to get this thing started. I kind of like starting these things, or um, that way I can try out the drive chain, right, um, to, see, to see that all that works. But let's just pretend for a moment that I woke up one morning, and I said, you know, old Harvey, he wants to put an on and off switch on this, or a key switch, right? I'm going to put a key switch, right? And let's let's first look at this bike. I'm going to put a key switch on this bike. And where am I going to hook up the wires? Well, given that I do not have a 12-volt system, right, I'm going to forget about the solid black. I'm going to forget about the solid red. I'm going to forget about the brown. And I'm going to forget about the uh, brown with the white stripe. I'm only going to be thinking of two wires. I'm going to be thinking of the green wire and you guys should be very predictive on that and say that wire is going to go to ground and I'm going to say you're a good student. And then there's the black and white wire. I'm going to make sure this black and white wire gets to this harness and hooks up to the black and white wire on this harness. And what the black and white wire does on this harness and I'm having a tough time getting it there. It's this one, right? What the black and white wire does on this harness is it's the, um, it, it turns it off. It turns off the um, CDI, okay? 
it should be black and white maybe it's solid black on this one and that's kind of one of the problems I run into is I'm te showing you guys now it's black with a white stripe you see the white stripe right there on the inside so okay so now when I turn the key from the off position to the on, on position, I take these two wires. When it's in the off position, these wires are shorted together. And when I turn it on, right, it creates an open circuit between the black and white and green for ground. And that allows me to start my ignition system, right? I can pull the string and I have spark and it fires right up and we're all happy. Now let's say that I want to put this key switch on this bike. I will hook it up exactly like I described. Green to ground, black and white to the CDI. It has to get to the CDI to the black and white wire on the CDI. That turns the bike off. This switch has an extra position on it, which involves the brown and white wire and the brown wire, so ignore those two. That only leaves me two wires. The red wire and the solid black wire. The red wire goes to the battery. You should kind of have a fuse on it first, but the red wire goes to the battery right goes to the few but fuse box goes to the battery goes to plus 12 that's where the red wire goes when you turn the key switch to the on position on this black wire right 12 volts comes out of it and it goes to this key it goes to your handlebar switch what does it do at your handlebar switch okay at your handlebar switch it feeds this switch here which powers your lights okay and it feeds this switch here right which powers your um, your start right it's really that simple you say yeah but what about the dashboard lights when you turn the key switch on these dashboard lights also um, you power up one side of them and depending on when you shift it when you're in neutral right the, um, you're basically grounding the other side of the light bulb and the neutral light comes on when you shift it into reverse, right? Or when you're in first gear, right? The neutral light is no longer grounded, so it goes out. When you're in first gear, the reverse light, that light bulb is not grounded, so it is out. But when you pop it into reverse, it grounds that and the reverse light comes on. And once again, your neutral light is off. It's really that simple. So, I told you about how it works on the Chinese switch. If we look at, this switch is actually out of this bike, right? And this is what makes me nervous about telling you guys, oh, just hook up the green wire here or the black wire there. Because sometimes they swap the colors around a little bit. Right? Green wire absolutely no issue it's ground red wire absolutely no issue it's 12 volts and you can kind of guess that because the wire that plugs into this right red wire see how it's covered that way if you unplug it you're not shorting 12 volts against everything right see the wire coming out of this harness right they used a yellow with a red stripe on it that's the power coming out of this harness right and you could kind of guess that because they have it covered right should you unplug that and the bikes turned on right you don't want it shorted against anything so you have it covered just like that but look what they did with the black wire right Instead of power coming out on the black wire, they have off. And by the way, it's a solid black wire. It doesn't have the white stripe. So the wise thing to do is you got to kind of futz around with the switch a little bit. See the way those two, right, green and black are right next to each other. And red and um, yellow 
red or right next to each other. That's because when you turn the switch to the off position, these two are shorted together and those two are opened. And when you turn it to the on position, these two are opened, those two are shorted. The simplest, so uh, I keep getting asked, how do I install a key switch? My key switch is completely torn off the bike. I've more or less t just told you, once again, this goes to the battery. This powers your handlebar switch, and from your handlebar switch, that'll um, power the starter relay. Okay, it'll power your lights and accessories and all that other trivia. And once again, the green wire will always be ground, and in this case, it's pure black, but it could be black with a white stripe. That um, goes off to your CDI to turn it off. Right, that goes to that fancy position. Um, I can't tell you exactly what wires you got because you told me you're completely hacked. Right, your your wire harness is completely hacked. I don't I don't know any easier way of uh, describing it. So I hope this helps. Um, there's I've, I've probably helped a couple of dozen people get their bikes running so far. They're all-terrain vehicles between China bikes or, or these Hondas or or whatever else they, they have. I've probably helped a, a couple of dozen people, but there's, there's a few that, you, you know, I've answered the questions, and then I'm asked the question again, and I'm asked in such a way that I get the idea I didn't answer the question in a way that we're communicating. So I, I figured I'd, I'd try again. Um, for my regular viewers um, who have no interest in that, I, I thank you for uh, staying with me and grinding through this. Um, folks, I want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing. Remember to keep your feet down, keep your heads up, and please get out there and enjoy all your days. Bye now, folks.